Do you want the Aladdin news or the Aladdin news? The Aladdin news? You are HIV Aladdin? That has got to be one of the most iconic lines in any satire. It's another one of those popular characters created by Sasha Baron Cohen, created Borat, Bruno, Ali G in the house, who are infamous for being sexist yet dumb and also hilarious in funny ways. Satire is a thin line that needs to be tread lightly because it might end up coming off too on the nose something that we do all the time at Smart DNS Proxy. The Dictator is a gross art comedy that's not really for everyone, but if you're one of those gross art people who saw that, like me, here are some of the best movies like The Dictator that are just as satirical. Almost caused a nuclear war with this one, Seth Rogen and James Franco star in a comedy about two journalists who go undercover to kill Kim Jong-un the supreme leader of North Korea. This raunchy and crude comedy caught everyone's attention worldwide. Kim didn't have a sense of humour in real life, but he does in this movie. It didn't release in theatres as North Korea threatened to go to war if they did. And also, Rob Lowe comes out as a person with alopecia in the movie, as it's a satire on real life characters too. This one is a banger, no pun intended. Adam Sandler plays an Israeli army commando who fakes his own death to become a hairstylist in New York City. Jad Apatow has his hand in it, so it's got his trademark wit, but for the most part, it revels on its over-the-top humour. There's laughs every 10 minutes that'll either make you squirm or die laughing. The slapstick comedy is on point for the most part, and probably the best action hairdressing comedy I've seen so far. I was 18 when I saw it, so don't blame me if you hate it. Blame my hormones. Jonah Hill and Chan Tates star in the movie remake of the classic television show about undercover cops in high school. It brings the 80s nostalgia with clever satire on teen drama tropes and offers mainstream raunchy screwball comedy in spades. I died laughing in the theatre when I watched it. It almost has a good heartfelt story to boot, which is usually unexpected in these kind of movies. Chan Tates proved himself to be a good comedian after this one. Ben Stiller stars and directs this action comedy that also stars Robert Downey Jr. as an Australian man portraying a black guy, filled with classic one-liners like, never go full retard. Everyone in the cast gives their best to play actors who are filming in the jungle but inadvertently get caught by a heroin camp bandit and are in real danger. Its self-referential snark and cameo from Tom Cruise are examples of its lens that it would go to. It's like a modern day Austin Powers. The directional debut of Family Guy is Seth MacFarlane and he also stars himself as the titular character, Ted, a talking teddy bear. If you've seen Family Guy, you know what you're in for. It's a buddy comedy about two friends, a boy and his teddy bear, who grow up together. Ted bangs hookers, smokes weed, drinks beer, and does all the debauchery that you can think of. Do I need to go on? It was a surprise hit at the time and put Seth MacFarlane on the map, until he made a sequel and another movie that bombed. This one is a gem of a comedy that's just pure gold. Don't miss this one. An ensemble black comedy made by Seth Brogan and Evan Goldberg. It stars all the comedians like Jonah Hill, Michael Cera, Aziz Ansari and a bunch of others including a cameo from Emma Watson herself. It takes place in a fictional universe where they play themselves and an apocalypse is imminent. The humour that's self-deprecating and top-notch performances from the cast will knock your socks off. It's the wildest scream comedy I'd seen back in 2013, and it'll make you snort with the showbiz parody. Probably one of Judd Apatow's lesser-known comedies, it stars Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen, 
Adam Sandler plays a comedian who's diagnosed with terminal cancer and has to fix all of his past relationships. Smartly written with satirical yet touching humour that never undermines the story is a big selling point for this movie. Most of the recognisable cast are present in this movie. Probably one of his mature films to date as it's mostly focused on one plot and sticks to humour and ethos. So yeah, those were our picks for movies like The Dictator that we found are quite good. Do you know any of them that are just as good? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, check out our other movies like Interstellar, Inception, John Wick. There's a bunch of those. And if you're new here, subscribe because that's what new people do. And you're a newbie, so you better do that. See you in the next one.